like I said on my Facebook post, I am covering TV shows last week. Um, so that means I'm covering Heroes Episode 4, Supernatural Season 11, Episode 1, Flash Season 2, Episode 1, Arrow Season 4, Episode 1, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Season 3, Episode 2. Um, so let's get this started with Heroes Episode 4. Um, if you guys have um, been keeping up with the show, um, then you know we still haven't got uh, Hiro Nakamura back in. We've seen him, uh, seen him on video uh, tapes, um, talking to Noah Bennett, um, and he, uh, and we know that by the time skipping of the video uh, video tapes. Um, so, yeah, Hero is nowhere to be uh, seen yet. Where is, where is he? Who knows? Really hoping he comes back. I really loved that character from the original series, Heroes. So, he's going to be, once he appears, he's, I'm guessing he's going to be very important to the whole entire story. Um, yeah, and some spoilers, guys. Spoiler alert for the whole segment here. I'll be talking about stuff that you probably don't know about. Um, so, we also get in Molly. If you remember from the original series, Molly was the uh, evolved human. You could find other evolved humans or anyone else on the planet just by thinking about the person. Um, she, she was captured, episode 3. Um, and she was harnessed into a system by Remodis? We know Remodis. Um, and she, um, so they can find all the other vault humans in the world and do something with them. Who knows what? We don't know. That's the whole mystery of the show right now. Um, but yeah, Molly, um, when Noah Bennett and Zach, I'll say. Haven't really keeping up with that character. Um, then, so far, the main villain's daughter, who uh, joined Noah and the other guy, um, they uh, find Molly in a room with a bunch of other evolved humans creating a system linked neur uh, neurolo neur uh, neurologically by something like the matrix jacking type thing so that um, that was interesting um, and when Noah comes up to Motley she says you don't need to know about the plan or something like that uh, you don't need to know about plan you don't I uh, can't be here you don't need to know anything takes Noah's gun and shoots herself, effectively disabling uh, Renatus' no, uh, find Evo's system um, worldwide. Um, so, yeah, because uh, oh, Noah is nowhere closer to any answers, and so are we, we're not any closer, Noah's not any closer, so, yeah, it's going to be it's probably going to take a while, guys, so we get more answers here. Um, next part is uh, Shuresh, uh narrated the beginning of the episode. So now, like, now I'm really wondering where Shuresh is. He was taking uh, responsibility for the Odessa attack on June 13th last year in this show. Um, so yeah, we're Shresh. Um, was really interesting because I know Shresh is probably gonna appear in, later in the show. He's credited, prob uh, if I remember correctly, in the sh uh, credits for the series. Uh, the series on IMDb. 
So we're Shresh. Um, then we have one of the other characters I, I haven't been talking about a whole lot. Robbie. Um, he finally did something probably a bit stupid, probably a bit brave, but really stupid. Um, he told a nurse that he gets blood tested, see if he was a match for his mom, because they were a uh, car wreck episode before. Um, turns out they're not exactly match. She's a negative, which, guys, if you don't know, really rare blood. O negative can only receive O negative blood. <laughs> um, Robbie's power is to teleport anywhere he thinks about, so he had to think about the blood bank that he knew about, uh, that he was told about, jump to the blood bank, take some blood, from the blood bank, jump back, give it to the nurse, who, when he reappeared, told him he has to run. Um, he couldn't really escape because of agents, but you see, tried. Um, Molina, um, from looks like his moving down south now, um, with, and her name wasn't mentioned in the um, episode, but according to IMDb credits, her name was, her name is Farad Nazan, Nazan. Um, she's obviously Muslim. Uh, from what we see in the episode, uh, she was uh, on the prayer rug when at the beginning of the episode when she was, we see her um, stop using her powers for a bit. Um, so, we finally know who it is, um, what no, they're doing, moving down south to help other uh, evolved humans. Um, then two other characters who are very interesting. Um, I think I talked about them last time. Um, Miko and Ren. Uh, Miko, uh, yeah, Miko had Hiro Nakamura's sword somehow. So uh, she's trying to get her sword back and trying to get her father back at the same time. Um, and they move on the Renatus. Uh, building that Noah and Zach and the uh, other character were, uh, were at, from what I'm guessing, uh, by having a huge get together of Katana Girl of um, EverQuest or Evermore, whatever video game they were talking about. Um, MO, obviously, or something along those lines. Um, I am a gamer, guys. I just didn't. I haven't been paying attention to what that game is uh, in the show, but um, yeah. So they've been doing. Uh, so they had uh, Ren do a big get together. Hey, yeah, let's get together here at this place so you can meet the real life Katana Girl. Yeah. Uh, um. The one character I have not been talking about at all because he kind of came off as a douchebag early on um, was Luke Collins, who had an evolved human son um, who died in the June 13th Odessa attack. And he, he and his wife have been hunting evolved humans. Um, he started discovering the previous episode he had he had powers. Uh, he started discovering it more this last episode. Um, I'm theorizing right now his powers are containing sun or absorbing solar energy and using it for something I who really knows until it gets properly explained somewhat. Um, then it ends on the ep uh, ends with uh, a character we see creating a shadow like object. I'm I'm guessing is a black hole with his hands, guys. It was very interesting to see how they're doing that. Um, and he's called the shadow. 
how he's gonna play into this whole thing. I don't know. I want to know. I think he's opposite. He is the polar opposite of Molina. So yeah, it's gonna be interesting to see how that plays out. So moving on from heroes onto supernatural, guys. Heroes was a lot to cover. Supernatural, not so much right now. Um, but we have Dean and Sam picking up pretty much where we left them at the end of season ten. The darkness coming out of whatever they're being was being held in. Um, the darkness uh, coming in as a personification of a woman, which I don't get, but hey, you know what? Uh, apparently, that woman saved Dean. They're bound to each other or something like that, linked, whatever. Um, and at the end of the episode, guys, we see that the mark that the lady shows Dean right here, um, which was the same mark as the mark of Cain, mind you. Mind you guys, that was the same mark as the mark of Cain that Dean had his, on his forearm. Uh, right here. So, they're going to be linked from that on, um, and we see that, that mark on a baby girl from earlier in the episode, um, his father and mother died because of darkness, the father was infected, um, so who knows what's going on with that, um, I'm guessing there's probably going to be a time skip this season, hoping, like, a good amount of time skip to, like, allow for the baby to come adult and Dean become an older man same with uh, Sam if he gets cured gets cured of the darkness that he got infected with um, after he slipped the throat of an infected nurse it looked like at the hospital that they found the baby at um, then according to Crowley's minions um, Lucifer and Michael um, one of them did out a screen with not both. What this could mean is, sorry guys, trying to get the camera angle just right. Uh, what this could mean is they both know the darkness is out, they both don't like the darkness is out. Um, remember guys, Angel of Death said God and the angels fought off the darkness. Now, what that means entirely, we don't know. Gonna be interesting to find out. Through the course of the season. Um, like I said, guys, hoping for a possible time skip. And, oh, I forgot to put in my notes, but um, looks like Castiel is in serious shit. I mean, some serious, serious shit. Um, so yeah, okay, going from The Flash, uh, no, oops, spoilers, um, going from Supernatural to one of my favorite comic book characters, The Flash. Um, so episode one premiered last week as well, and it's season two, guys, season two, we pick up right after, um, the, uh, what was it, the wormhole, or rip in space-time continuum, whatever it was, uh, collapsing, um, Barry doing his own thing, um, in one night, and a character from another Earth, Earth 2, we're calling it in the Arrowverse, um, the Atom Smasher, who is a metahuman or something from Earth 2, um, who can 
take in atomic energy waste or lit fires off atomic energy waste. Uh, that's why he's called the Owl Smasher. Um, he appears in the very first episode. I was hoping he'd last a whole lot longer, but he didn't, so that's kind of horrible. But before he died of cancer brought on by too much radiation, he said, Zoom. Zoom, guys. Zoom. That's important. Because like I said last week, was it last week or two weeks ago, or whatever, um, the villain for this um, season, guys, is going, is Zoom. Uh, he's the other, one of the other uh, enemy speedsters of the Flash, besides the reverse Flash. Um, so that's going to be interesting to see how that play, uh, plays out. Um, Jay Garrick appears at the end of the episode, well, appears to the uh, Flash team, but we see him earlier in the episode taking pictures of Barry. Um, and one of the best jokes from Cisco and Rowan in the uh, episode was creating a flash signal. Now, what Cisco said was, I saw it in a comic book or something, which means more than likely Batman is a comic book series in this universe. Um, so going from one Arrowverse show to another, um, the Arrow guys, or Arrow. Um, so season four, episode one premiered, um, same day as Supernatural. Um, what happens in that, uh, finally happens is Oliver takes over the, takes up the mantle of the Green Arrow. He finally takes the name we have all been waiting for him to take up, the Green Arrow guys. Pretty much, Batman, but with bow and arrows. Um, he's my second favorite DC comic book universe hero, um, mainly because he has no superpowers. He's just very highly skilled. Um, so, main villain for the, this season looks like to be Damien Dark. Uh, he has connections to Hive. If you, uh, if you guys remember uh, the comic, uh, cartoon series Teen Titans back in the early 2000s, so like 10 years ago. God, 10 years ago. Um, Teen Titans, 10, 12 years ago, whatever however long ago that was, um, the Teen Titans, um, Hive was somewhat of a major threat, they sent, uh, teenage villains after the Teen Titans, um, so that's important, but Damien Dark, uh, Damien Dark seems to be in control of this Hive, of this universe, um, and he doesn't seem to have metahuman powers, he seems to have supernatural powers. Uh, which is going to play into another DC comic book series that apparently is not going to be a part of the Arrowverse, which is awesome because I'm glad they're bringing that into the fold because it got cancelled last year off of the CW, uh, not the CW, but, the, uh, but NBC. Because NBC is stupid. <laughs> Constantine, uh, the show Constantine about John Constantine. Uh, they're bringing that into the fold, so he's going to be playing hopefully a major part of uh, this for um, this season, uh, just because of the supernatural powers of Demian. Um, so yeah, then going from mighty humans and supernatural shit to inhumans and robotics and whatever else is Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Uh, season 3 episode 2 so 
we while we get the at the end of the episode is Jenma Simmons is back. Fitz is happy, but Simmons is broken kind of like how Fitz was at the beginning of last season. Um mainly because Simmons survived uh several months out on a remote planet on the edge of the galaxy probably who knows um uh, it turns out the obelisk was not activated by any human genes which would be Kree or Asgardian or whatever else um but resonant frequencies um which surprisingly was a cool way for a guy to use your powers on something that a death to humans apparently um she used it to get the obelisk at the right frequency after they got it to work the first time um by the resonance of the room that they put it in at a castle in England where Asgardian saw a Hebrew or Yiddish writing on a wall for the word death. So, yeah, uh, that happened. Um, which Fitz did something completely stupid um, when they got it to work the second time after um, Sky got portal open on the obelisk. He jumped in to get Gemma. So that happened. Um, and the obelisk got destroyed. Yay! No more death. Thing. It's no more death for anyone else from that thing. So that's awesome. Um, then we find out where May went. She went to go spend time with her father after an apparent car, oh, it's a car wreck, a hit and run driver who may or may not have been Grant Ward. So yeah, that happened. Um, then Hunter goes to get her to help get Grant Ward, uh, get Ward. Um, and speaking of Ward, he's been busy. He's been slowly rebuilding Hydra, getting it up and running, making it so that it's for people who had nothing and want everything. And he's going to be the center of the whole thing. Which is awesome. Um, he enlists a Hydra descendants child. His father was Hydra. He, he never got to be a part of it. Um, so he enlists by using tactics of torture and taking all the money after the, no, he gave all the banking stuff from the torture. And it turns out the guy who's playing this character played the child in the gladiator whose uncle killed Maximus. Can't really, uh, kid's name. Yeah. But, um, so that's gonna be, that's gonna be interesting to see what happens. Um, and that character is with May, uh, is taking May's ex-husband's psychology course to get close to him to possibly murder him or something. Who knows at this point, but that's just interesting to see going on. And he passed everything in Lord, made him full member of Hydra. So, yeah, all right, so that wraps up. Um, weekly show roundup for this week. I'll be back in five minutes, guys, after I get some water. Uh, so, I'll be back in five minutes, and I'll be starting my science and technology show roundup for the week, which I have just small news stories. Um, but, yeah, I'll be talking about those in five minutes. So, see you guys in five. news stories um